Hello everyone, it's Miss Ashley 30 Today I'm talking about the RMS Lady Hawkins. The RMS Lady Hawkins was a 7,980 gross ton steamship built along with four sister ships. The Lady Drake, Lady Rodney, Lady Nelson and Lady Somers for the Canadian National Steamship Company and finished in 1928. I have some stats now. On the morning of the 19th of January 1942, she was about 280 kilometres from the American west coast, loaded with 322 people, steaming steadily through the cold, dark Atlantic Ocean. Suddenly, at 7.43am, two torpedoes fired from the U-66's stern tubes hit the ship. She disappears after 30 minutes though there is no information on how she sank that I could find. The torpedoes had damaged three of the six boats, but the other three were launched. Survivors recalled that there were people in the water, but they couldn't be pulled in the boat. The lifeboats had limited rations and no radio, so two of the boats got lost. The surviving single boat spent five days making its way towards the American west coast. Unfortunately, five people on board the boat didn't make the journey and on the fifth day they were spotted and picked up by the American troop ship Coamo, and the 71 survivors were landed in Puerto Rico on the 28th of January. 251 people had died. Information on the ship and sinking is severely limited, and knowledge of the ship has nearly been forgotten. To explain how unknown it is, even Yamato 30 hadn't heard of it. An interesting thing to note is that the chief officer of the Lady Hawkins, who commanded the lifeboat that made it back, was promoted to captain and served on board the Lady Drake, a sister of the Lady Hawkins, and while serving on her, Lady Drake was sank by torpedoes of the U-106 on the 5th of May 1942, sinking the ship and killing 12, a disaster he survived. I hope you enjoyed the video and learnt something. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.